Okay, guys, I hadn't planned coming out here in the hot of the day at 2.30 to film, but I got something special to show you. Other than my lovely babies here, you can probably tell that they're drinking ice water. I don't know if this will let you see that it's, um, you can see how it looks bumpy. That's a whole bag of ice. And they got a whole bottle thing of ice over there, but, and Chaos has a whole thing of ice water here. But the special thing I have to show you is, before I went to the store about an hour ago, I saw my Moira sitting here in her nest box and panting. And I got her sides up nice and high. I'll make this one even a little higher because I don't think we're gonna get any rain. Um, so she's got good airflow. And her comb and waddle looked paler than normal. I thought, normally that disturbed me, but I was figuring that was probably because her body was putting all its energy and blood to laying an egg. Cause she's out in her dry, her, uh, her dust bath now and she is normal, but look. She did it, you guys, she did it. Her first little egg, look how little it is compared to the medium sized plastic eggs. So. I'm gonna get it out of here because Oh my goodness, I'm gonna grab a plastic one too. <laughs> look, it's a size comparison. Now I have really small hands, but look. It even feels light, so. She was working hard to squeeze that out. So, oops. I'm gonna toss this plastic one back in there. Oh shit, it went over. But now that she knows, I'll dig it. I don't wanna lay in there. I'll dig it out later when this is not wet. I just watered down here, so, but. She lay her little egg. I'm so proud of her. Look at her down here by her. Yes, I decorate around her coop. Even though I've got all those tarps stacked up and my scrap pile and all kinds of other crap. I put flowers out for her, but when she lay her little egg. Now, I see some people with cream crusted leg bars who are go broody or chickens that are mostly cream crusted leg bars. So she's obviously not being broody about it, or maybe she won't be broody if there's a few eggs, but it's so cute. So I'll probably end up letting it chill a little bit and bringing it back out and feeding it to her, but yay. Hey girls. Yeah, my Brahmas who want to lay every other day, you know, gosh forbid if two sisters lay on the same day. Look, look. Yeah, your little sister laid a little baby egg. Uh-huh. She laid her first little baby egg. I'll take it in just so I can look at it, but she is a cream crusted leg bar, and so she is a true blue egg layer. No chances of it being green, and the inside will be just as blue as the outside. And this is her first one, so it may become bluer. And I'm really hoping that my Easter eggers, I don't know where those girls are. Oh, there's my Easter eggers over there. Well, I know for sure that Zin Zin brown and black is an easter egger and i think miss lily may have some easter egger in her and she almost looks like she has some colombian wine dot in her but i don't know but maybe she'll lay a colored egg i don't know but this egg could be anywhere from blue to green to yeah, to pink and we hope so there you go pretty girl mama's so proud your ex she didn't sing an egg song today at least not one that i heard must have happened because when i came back from the store I immediately came to eat ice waters and I looked over and I saw her egg. So I did all my ice waters and stuff first and then I ran in and got the camera. Yeah, I didn't have the camera on me just at that moment, but maybe yesterday was just her pre-egg egg song. But you can tell that her comb and wall are back to being bright, bright red. I mean, they're a little paler than I would like them, but I'm getting ready to bring them some cold water on out. She's got cold ice water. And as I've said, she has places to get into the deep shade up in her coop that's why i'm keeping her summer coop it has wooden walls for weather but it is open air so if she's in there she gets really good airflow all right thanks y'all bye